Welcome to Dr. Tom Talks. Today, a Valentine's Day special. With the help of the Biodigital Human, I'm going to be talking about what is love? Of course, it all starts here in the heart. And here is uh, Cupid's arrow going through it. Actually, it doesn't start in the heart. It starts up here in the brain. So I'm going to delve deep inside the brain. And we're going to talk about all of the hormones at play, why we feel the way we do. And we're all starting in this area of the brain, the reward system. So this is the mesolimbic area. Before I start, I'm not going to completely demyst demystify love. It's still not completely understood. So fear not, you will still have some kind of mystery left by the time that this is over. So why do we have that feeling of elation, of ecstasy? Why do we have that feeling of being in love? Well, you're looking here at the mesolimbic system. And I'm going to talk about, first of all, dopamine. That's the happy hormone. This is the thing that makes you feel really good. This is the thing that lights up the pleasure centers in the brain. It's the thing that you release when you have sex, when you take drugs, and when you're in love. Even looking at someone that you're in love with can release dopamine. And in specific, a specific area is the ventral tegmental area. It's an area in the midbrain. And it sends off this signal to the mesolimbic system via things like the nucleus accumbens. That's kind of like a control center. And other areas of the brain that are involved with the hippocampus to do with memory, amygdala to do with emotions and the prefrontal cortex, that's more like higher function. So that's that like feeling in love, feeling really good. It's that happy hormone uh, that lights up the brain like this. The other hormone I want to talk about is uh, norepinephrine or noradrenaline, uh, as my counterparts in Europe would call it. This is, again, uh, very involved in the ventral tegmental area. And this is the reason, this is the fight, one of the fight or flight hormones, which actually increases your heart rate. So that's why when you even look at someone that you are in love with, your heart rate actually goes up a little bit. And that might be the reason why we really focus on the heart and things like Valentine's Day cards. So thirdly, I want to talk about uh, oxytocin. So this is a hormone uh, which has a big effect on the nucleus accumbens right here. And this is the neuromodulator that we refer to as the commitment uh, neuromodulator. This is what gives us a real bond with someone. And it's a really interesting hormone because uh, if you look at prairie voles, for example, if they're injected with uh, oxytocin or vasopressin, they immediately go off and find a, a partner. And their long lost cousins, uh, the prairie voles, long, long lost cousins, the montane vole, they actually have very low levels of oxytocin. And so they're very, very promiscuous. They don't need to find a partner, whereas prairie voles themselves have relatively high levels of oxytocin and they are monogamous. They have a partner for life. And this uh, hormone and this bond tend to be more long lasting than dopamine and norepinephrine, for example. Finally, I just want to talk really quickly about serotonin. A lot of people think serotonin, which uh, originates here in uh, the dorsal raphae of the midbrain, uh, that it's elevated when you're in love. Actually, it's the opposite. It's actually decreased. And that's also found also with people who have uh, OCD or obsessive compulsive disorder, which is very interesting. And the, think the thinking is that um, both with obsessive compulsive disorder and when you're in love, the low serotonin levels result in these obsessions. So you become obsessed with someone that you're in love with or infatuated. And finally, why do we get that feeling of butterflies in our stomach? It's a really interesting one. Well, there's actually a physiological reason for this. So this mesolimbic system, it actually stimulates a nerve called the vagus nerve. And the vagus nerve is a really interesting long nerve that actually uh, attaches the uh, brain to the heart and to the stomach right here. So that's the reason why you get the feeling of butterflies in your stomach, because it actually does stimulate the stomach and give you those feelings. So this is a Valentine's Day special on love. There's still a lot that we don't know about love. So it still should be a wonderful thing and a mystery. Wishing everyone a very, very happy Valentine's Day. This was Dr. Tom Talks. This was BioDigital. For any more visuals, please go to biodigital.com. Have a great Valentine's Day.